Okay, let's talk about how to change decimals into fractions. And uh, in this video as well, I am going to touch on how we uh, change a fraction into a decimal. But the main focus here is uh, we're going to go from decimals to fractions. So if this has been bugging you or confusing you, and uh, you know if you don't understand anything, of course it's going to seem difficult. But if you stick around for a couple minutes here, I think I will be able to clear this up for you. All right, before we get started, though, let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over many years, I've constructed a ton of online, super comprehensive math courses. It's literally taken me years and years to build these math courses out. So if you're taking middle school math, high school math, college math, uh, various uh, whatever you're taking. If you're in that range, I'm pretty certain uh, you could find uh, a course that could help you out. So I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. You can either take a full complete math course with me or you can just use my program as a supplement. Also, uh, if you want to pick up a set of my math notes, you can find the link uh, to those as well underneath this video and uh, in the description. So whether it's pre-algebra, uh, this right here would be more of a pre-algebra level type of topic. So if you're studying this, fractions and stuff, pre-algebra notes would be a good option for you. But I have Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Trigonometry, Geometry, all that kind of good stuff. So with that being said, let's get into how to change decimals to fractions. So here, it, let's just look at this first example. We have 0.3 is equal to uh, 3 tenths. Let's just kind of look down here, right? So 0.3 is indeed equal to 3 tenths. So how do we do this? Well, uh, really, um, we need to uh, look at this number. Okay, remember, I want to change this. Really, the answer or the question would be this. 0.3 is equal to what? Okay, as a fraction. So we don't know this. The secret here is to... Um, know how to uh, verbalize this decimal, okay? So in other words, how do we say this, you know, uh, from a sentence, from a verbal standpoint, okay? So if I asked you, you could say, well, this is point, point 0.3, and that would be correct, okay? That is point 0.3. But hopefully, you would also know that we would say that this is three tenths, Three tenths, okay? Get to know that. So meaning, in order to change um, a decimal into a fraction, you got to know how to say it correctly, okay? So 0.3, yes, in fact, that is point, point 0.3, but it's really three tenths, meaning that you're going to have to know your place value, place value. Now, I really need to link a video that I did on place value. It's in my playlist um, so if you're confused on place value, want to check out, uh, check that out. Okay. So in other words, the tenths place, the hundreds place, the thousands place, all that kind of good stuff. All these things that we learned back in elementary school, just as a refresher, because it is confusing. Okay. Especially when you're dealing with this, but the, the main point I'm saying here is that you got to know how to say this correctly. All right. If you can say it correctly, then you can write it as a fraction. So let's look down here. We have three tenths, right? Three tenths. So let's just write it. Three. Oh, that's a terrible three. Three tenths. There you go. Three tenths. So I just wrote this decimal as a fraction. All right. Now, how do we change a fraction back into a decimal? So uh, I said that I would touch on this and pretty easy. All you do is take the 10 and divide it into three. Now, of course, if you're going to do that on your, your calculator, you would have um, uh, three divided by 10 and you would get a bunch of, uh, well, you would get uh, 0.3. Okay. That's what you would get. All right. So, so to go from a fraction into a decimal, you just simply actually do the, uh, the division. Okay. 3 divided by 10, boom, there you go. There's your decimal. Okay, now let's uh, take a look at uh, another problem here. How about this? 0.57. Now I'm saying purposely. How do we write 0.57 as a uh, fraction? All right. So, again, I, I said point. I'm using the word point. Now I'm not giving you what you need to know for this because I'm um, hoping, hoping that you remember 
how you say that. So don't, let's just say, don't say it with 0.57. How else can we say it? All right, think of this example, all right? So hopefully some of you are out there like, God, uh, this is 57 hundredths, 57 hundredths, right? All right, I'm scribble scratching that right there. But yes, this is 57 hundredths. So let's just verbalize that again, 57 hundredths. So that's 57 over 100, okay? So this is the tenths place. This is the hundred, hundredths place. So 57 hundredths. So that is the secret to changing a decimal into a fraction. Let's try one more. And then, of course, we could do problems like this all day long. And uh, let's see here, point, uh, six, uh, zero, three. Let's write that as a fraction. Okay, so I just said point six zero three, and that is correct. But what, how many, um, from a place value standpoint, how many um, uh, decimal places am I dealing with? How many, what's the place value, you know, in this particular decimal? Well, this is the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths, because that's a good indicator, all right? Thousandths is where it ends. So it's probably a good uh, clue that a thousand is going to be our denominator, okay? And if you just look at the pattern, you know, from these previous examples, this was the tenths and hundredths. We wrote the hundred, then we wrote just that number in the numerator. So 603. So this is 600 and three thousandths, 603 thousandths. Okay, so it's really no more difficult than that, okay? I'm not gonna bore you with, let's write uh, this thing here, okay, as a uh, fraction, okay? Because that would be a waste of your time and my time, all right? As long as you understand the mechanics of how to do that, but of course you could do this, all right? But again, uh, writing a decimal as a fraction is a very important uh, uh, skill, okay? And then if we want to go from a fraction back into decimal, we simply just divide the number, uh, the numerator, and by the denominator. We actually perform that uh, calculation, and we would get back to the decimal. Okay, so hopefully this is a quick review. Again, you know, everything in math doesn't have to be overly complicated, but these are really critical foundational skills. So just because it's simple doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to memorize it easily. All right. That's another kind of rule of life, right? It's like, yeah, it's easy. It's simple. Yeah. I grant you, it should be easy and simple, but that that's also means that it's easy and simple to forget. None of this is going to stick unless you practice it. Okay. That's when it comes to retention and mathematics. Okay. You can watch me you know, watch, you know, videos all day long, it's really, you're going to just barely increase your uh, actual math skill sets, okay? You have to practice, all right? You have to take notes. You have to practice all this stuff and put it in your back pocket. You put it in your math toolkit, if you will, for the long run, okay? So a lot of things in math are, are that way, okay? They're not the difficult to understand, but they're uh, super easy to forget. And hopefully this is a quick review on decimals to fractions and fractions to decimals. Okay, so if this video helped you out, I certainly would appreciate you giving me 100% on the like button. That would be appreciated. By the way, too, if you're new to my YouTube channel and you like my teaching style, I have hundreds and hundreds of videos, various level of mathematics that can help you out. So if you're taking some sort of math course right now and you need uh, help, uh, please, you know, I try to organize my, my playlist in a way that you know, it's pretty easy for you to find stuff. So, uh, but if you need a more formal approach, you know, um, and a more thorough, if you really want my best work, then check out the resources by following the links in the description of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.